Uh, our next guest is a lovely and talented actress whose films include Wall Street, No Way Out, and The Boost, which opens around the country on December 23rd. Please welcome back to this show the stunning, mysterious Sean Young. How you doing? Pretty good. Oh, good. <laughs> hey, how about that? What, uh, what have you been doing? <laughs> Just hanging out. I got back from L.A. yesterday. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what did you do in L.A.? I did a little bit of promoting for The Boost. What, what is The Boost? This is some uh, dark side, uh, Magnificently depressing movie, uh -huh. right? <laughs> it's a story about this man and wife who live in uh, New York at the beginning of the story. And my husband, played by James Woods, gets a big break in tax shelters and uh -huh. real estate. And he gets a big job in Los Angeles. And we go out to L.A. and we become a part of this great, fast-moving, money-making American dream, and we get involved in drugs, cocaine. Okay, and, that's enough. Yeah. We've heard enough. You're going on. Uh, <laughs> so, so, it goes but, downhill from Now, are you, are you dressed... Uh, um, you have a... Um, <laughs> a little bit. Well, I want your opinion about something. It's come to my attention. It's come to my attention that, that in Europe, uh, women have, like, a lot of hair under the arms, and I wanted to know whether Americans think that this is attractive or not. I do. I want to know. What do you think? Hmm. Uh, Personally speaking, no? No, no armpit hair in America. I, uh, I, I think we would... Uh, <laughs> I, I think we would need to... Uh, can Test you, it. <laughs> you know, when the sheep shearing guy comes out, hang around. my arm in in uh, shaving accident no 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 i fractured my arm damn baby that's some shaving <laughs> no 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 i fractured my arm and i wasn't able to shave my arms for like six weeks and i'd never not shaved my arm since i started uh -huh. right so this was fractured couldn't do that couldn't lift that and i decided that i loved it <laughs> well I, I as i was about to say I, I think it's the kind of thing where you would you would uh oh. <laughs> Probably want to consider on an individual basis. I well, mean, I mean, certainly if you're. I've been if getting you're, good feedback in if, general. If you're, um, if you're comfortable like that, um, and Can they I let you. Sweat a little more. <laughs> 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 the picture just keeps getting prettier and prettier, doesn't it? <laughs> um, and and you find they let you into most restaurants. Yeah, I don't yeah. go to many restaurants. Let's, let's talk about something else now. But you're you're in addition to to that. Um, <laughs> So You're, cute. Oh, thanks. thanks <laughs> did I tell you I had a dream about you the <laughs> day after I was on the show last time? Was that right? Yeah, I did. What I had was, a dream about you. What was you. the nature of the... Uh... It was, well, I have this little dream journal book that I keep, and I, I'm convinced that it's the strangest thing because it's always sexual. Every dream I have in this book, it's like I reserve it for, I reserve it for my dreams because I can't be that way in real life, you know? Ah, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> well, you have to kind of hold back a little bit in life, you know? Have you ever in your life held back anything? Well, everyone thinks I haven't, right? Uh -huh. Everybody thinks that I haven't. That seems to be the general word. So there's, there's word, more to come then? Yeah, but I, I don't think I've even hardly begun to let what's inside of me out. You know what I mean? So, you know, I really feel that way sometimes. Like, Can I get you some talcum powder or something? I just... <laughs> It'd be my honor. <laughs> Uh, and, and, uh, enough of this. Let's go on to other matters. Uh, t tell me the signific significance of a. You're dressed a little like a. Uh, well, what are you dressed like? That's like well, a. This is, this is a Bob Mackie dress, and I, I, I like it because it makes me feel a little bit like a stripper. And there's this part that I would like to play. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't got the part yet, but she was a stripper in the 50s, and it's called Blaze Star. Very famous stripper, yeah, wasn't she? Yeah, she sort of made it respectable for couples to go and see people strip, you know, mm -hmm. in the 50s before it became topless. Mm -hmm. And it was an art. And, and stripping is indigenous. It, it was born in America, just like tap dancing was. It's like the only form of dance that's come out of America. And so, like vaudeville, but things you, like that. But you know, I think I think now it's it's may have deteriorated to less Definitely. than it certainly was at one point. I don't. Certainly. Were, were they ever completely nude when they did this? No, they. The whole art of it was that you would cover yourself up with fans and you would be naked, but nobody would ever see it. Mm -hmm. And it was a every stripper back then had a gimmick, 
they they would either you know do the tassels or they would have play the trumpet or they would use fans or you know they always had a gimmick and this was a woman who was the legend at her time and they're going to make a movie yeah. about her. Is she her. still alive? This woman? I think so. <clears throat> yes, yeah. she, I think she's 57 now and, and I think she lives in Baltimore, but I'm not sure. But now let me let me guess. They they probably in considering you for the part think we need a kind of a big yeah uh, I would earthy, have to gain blustery. 20 pounds. You'd have to put on a little yeah. weight. Are you willing to do that? Yeah. 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 I would love to eat just nonstop all the time. I think that would be good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> be a challenge. I think it would be a real challenge. I, I talked to the doctor who did uh, Robert De Niro when he did R Raging Bull, and his advice for me was to eat. <laughs> yeah, so that's good it. Advice. Just, just yeah, eat. Just yeah. eat. And, yeah. and don't shave. There's a couple of pounds there. <laughs> um. That'll help. But now you were talking about breaking your shoulder. You were you were also going to be in the. Uh... All right. Sorry. <laughs> In the uh, in the uh, the Batman deal, right? The Batman. Well, I film? was before I fractured my arm. They asked me to ride a horse, and I. It was the Friday before that Monday, and they said, "Well, will you ride this horse?" And I went, "Okay," but I'm really terrified of horses, and I agreed to do it anyway. And and I I fell off. I was coming around in this canter, and Michael Keaton had taken his horse, started to take his horse back to the stable, and they're stable horses, so. This other horse, when it came around in a canter, saw the other horse and it bolted to go back to the stables. And I stayed on until it turned the corner and I just rolled off, you know. And I hit, I hit the ground. I had this crash helmet on. I hit on my shoulder and I yeah. banged my head. Well, you must have been disappointed that that took you out of the film, right? I was for about a week. The biggest dis disappointment was not getting to work with Jack Nicholson because he plays the Joker in it. And he's really, he, I got to rehearse with him for two weeks and he's such a little elf. I mean, he's really a mischievous <laughs> guy. And I really uh -huh. liked, uh -huh. you know. Uh, but I, I think that would be a pretty good uh, film. It sounds nice, doesn't it? What, Batman? Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry you're I not in it. I don't know anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. You know, I am getting to like it. <laughs> What, the Batman? No, thing? no, not the Batman. You what, know, the, the, the armpit yeah. hair? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I think that Americans should appreciate naturalist theories. Yeah, and yeah. as you say, in most other parts of the world, that's de rigueur, whatever that means. De rigueur? I don't know what that as means. As close as I can come. Huh? You're lucky the candles aren't out here because <laughs> a real fire hazard we did. Huh? Time to go? It is, Paul? <laughs> well, geez, if Paul says it's time to go, we really must have done something here. <laughs> uh, good to see you. Have a nice holiday. I'm talking oh, to you. <laughs> well, you guys I'm were saying good night to Paul. I no, know. I see him every night. Uh, we'll be right back here to uh, shear some sheep.